Since childhood, I've always been drawn to water, spending entire summer holidays begging to swim in the beach, pool, or even a bathtub, but we won't include that shot. Three years ago, that affinity brought me back to the water's edge, where I discovered fishing and instantly became hooked. Oh, that's not a bad fish, Danny. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. It's bigger than I thought. It's huge. It's huge. Naturally, this led me to desire an underwater paradise of my own in form of a pet fish. However, I needed a fish tank first, and luckily, I knew just the friend who could help me out. My friend Carl, who created an awe-inspiring series about his dream koi pond, and happened to have a spare fish tank in need of a new owner. Around about a two-hour drive, but we are here now, and I'm really excited to see this fish tank. You. <laughs> you did, didn't you? Now my tank is slightly smaller than this one. <laughs> this is absolutely massive. I don't even know the elite on it, but there is some epic fish in here. All koi carp, all beautiful colours. Though Carl's koi pond was undeniably remarkable, I decided to start my fish keeping journey with something a little bit smaller. Carl kindly shared some valuable tips on caring for my first fish, fueling my eagerness to hit the road and set up the tank. Fits perfectly. It's meant to be. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> yeah, there you go. One, one thing is it is a lot heavier when it's full of water. Yeah, I probably won't be filling it up in the car. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate that. Right. Thank you very much. Just about to pull up. And I can offload this hopefully safely. And get it into my house. And we can get the new addition to my room. Probably like, looks like alright. Uh, oh, oh my god, I nearly fell. Ow! Oh my god, imagine if I fell and it just smashed. And there we go, we've got our fish tank. Back in one piece, just about, I nearly fell over. Bit of a long drive, but we're back home and it's safe and sound in the living room, not in my bedroom because my bedroom's an absolute mess at the moment. So I need to clean that up tomorrow. I've got a few things to tick off. I've got to get a new filter, clean it up a little bit and figure out what fish go with the fish I want to get. I've also heard about a thing called aquascaping and I've been looking at a few videos about that. That looks amazing. So I'm going to research into what kind of aquascape I'd like. I kind of want it into like obviously a fish tank, but an aquascape fish tank, a little bit of both. I'm not too sure, but I am absolutely exhausted. So I'm going to go to bed and then wake up the next day and sort this all out. The next morning, a rather large parcel arrived, signalling the time to unleash my epic DIY skills in building a sturdy cupboard to support the tank. Right, is that it now? <laughs> my whole room is just littered with black pieces of wood. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I forgot that was there. This is what we're trying to build. Looks straightforward, but it's not. Where is that going to screw into then? We've actually made some serious progress right now. They call me the DIY king. Oh, mate that is that is measurement to perfection right there wow probably the most awkward bit of DIY I think I have ever done 
without a doubt. I'm in the cupboard. I'm literally in the cupboard. And I just... I'm struggling so hard. So it's probably been like four hours of trying to set this flipping thing up. Put it down to the last almighty draw. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in now and sleep for a thousand years. Please fit. Please fit. Yes. He's done it! <laughs> The next day, accompanied by Danny, I ventured to the nearest aquatic shop to buy substrate, plants, and rocks for my first attempt at aquascaping. Ooh, Maidenhead Aquatics. That is where I got my stuff from last time. These look cool. Yeah, we can get those. They're like... That's like, a, that's like a mini um, carp. Mini carp, yeah, that's why I like them. Okay. That's very satisfying. I got told by Maidenhead Aquatics that first of all I've got to rinse these plants out because they're actually in this mossy type thing and apparently it's really difficult to do if you don't rinse them out first so that's what I'm doing right now. It's like when I was younger and I watched Art Attack when they presented something that they'd already done. We've done all of the plants now and they're ready to be planted. Got Danny helping me now. Yes. Need a woman's touch for this because I am so cack handed when it comes to <laughs> it. Most of the plants are in. We've got one more thing to do and that's tie this vesicularia de Bayana, butchered the name, uh, onto the wood, because I want some mossy type stuff going onto the wood, and then we're done. We can fill it up with water and hope that the wood doesn't float because I've tied it down. I'm just so nervous to put water in because it might just float and destroy everything. I think I've done the moss correctly. And now the last thing is to add water, make sure the pumps and the heater work, and then we're done. My last pint of water going in. Well, after what felt like a thousand steps up and down the stairs, I finally put water in the tank. After patiently waiting two weeks for the tank cycling process, the moment finally arrived to purchase my first fish. They're cool fish, you picked out some good ones. Electric balloon, no, this Electric thing. blue balloon ram. Electric blue balloon ram. We've already found a predator for our fish. He's coming to take them, no. <laughs> This is called Scragster, or Scrag. He's our cat that's not actually our cat. Right, so I've got them in the tank now, and they've told me that I need to fill it up ever so slowly with my water so they can acclimatize. So that's what I've been doing. Every 10 minutes, just filling a little cup up, and hopefully they're doing all right. It's quite hard to tell with fish, they can't tell you if they're feeling agitated or annoyed. I think they're ready to go in. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> eee. Eee. He looks amazing. Happy to finally get some fish in the tank, but that's not all of the fish. We still need to get quite a few more. My excitement was short lived as a significant issue emerged. A massive algae spike was wrecking havoc on the tank contradicting the paradise I had promised my fish, which Danny had already named Lenny and George. 
a new plan was needed alongside a necessary water change. This is my system right now. That's not ideal. It's super sketchy. But it is working. Well, it's filled up now. However, there is lots of bits floating around in the tank right now. I've cleared the filter out. Now it's time to go to the shop and get some shrimp and hopefully they can do their bit. I'm probably gonna get quite a few because it, it doesn't look too good right now. And I'm kind of stumped on what to do. My strategy revolved around acquiring a cleanup crew consisting of algae eating fish and shrimp to combat the mess that threatened my aquatic haven. Well, that's a lot of fish. Don't even ask what ones I've got because I'm pretty bad at remembering. Back at home, thank you for looking after our fish. <laughs> Did you keep them safe? They are safe. There's safe loads in here. This is the biggest pusher so far. We need to get them all ready and set in the water and then set them free without other babies. <laughs> we're not we're not naming the shrimp, okay? No, but Lenny and George are gonna be like, who the heck are these guys? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get them in. Let's get them in. Well, we've got the fish back, got loads of bags down here. Corey's are the first to go in because they're kind of skitzing out a little bit, so I want them to feel settled in their new home. We've already had Lenny and George come up to the bag and are quite inquisitive to see what other fish are going to be joining them. I'm hoping they don't fight. Time for you to go. Well, the tank's now full of life. Lenny and George are a bit curious of all of the different species of fish in there and they're hiding away, keep coming out, having a little look. But we've got shrimp in there, quarries to clean the tank. And hopefully the next update, the tank is looking a lot better and we get our last fish in there. But for now, it's a waiting game. 2,000 years later. Hello, how are you? Ooh, fishy. Fish. Cheers, bud. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. Have a good day. The final piece of the puzzle has arrived. I love how Callan buys the fish for me to open. No, I didn't buy the fish. I, this, I was meant to open this. Oh, you didn't buy the fish then? Oh, no, I did buy the fish. <laughs> the big reveal. Oh, oh. <laughs> great. Ooh. Ooh. There's two in there. Two albinos. Two albinos. Oh, there's the goby. Oh my gosh, he's tiny. I thought he was going to be bigger than that. Oh, is this the big mama? No, it's just... Oh, there it is. The main event. Oh, yeah. Oh, very cool. My childhood dream has come true and I have finally finished the fish tank with a Siamese beta fish. I went for a red one because my favourite colour is red. But we are done once he swims in. Come on, you're going the wrong way, buddy. This was the moment and you're... You... Come on. Here he goes. Hey! Nice, I'm so happy. We finished it.